Welcome back to Digital Trends Live. I'm Greg Nibbler, and again, thank you for joining us wherever you are. We, we appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button, share the show, let other people know about it. We get to have some great conversations here on the show, and that's what we're going to have right now. We've got joining us Huma Abide, who is a Senior Director of AI Software at Intel. Uh, Huma, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you, Greg. Glad to be here. Um, there's a there's a lot that I want to talk about with you, but I think let's go right into this and talking about um, just working in technology and some of the major issues that are there when it comes to uh, diversity and in particular women in technology. I know you're an advocate to help change that and and make some differences uh, to to correct some of these issues. And I wonder if you could just talk to us a little bit about that, about to to highlight what some of the issues are and what some of the ways are that this could be mm -hmm. maybe resolved. Yes, absolutely. As you said, this is something that's very I'm very passionate about. And uh, it starts with STEM. In general, we, it's very well established that women are far less represented in STEM. Uh, and there's obviously a lot of effort that's going on across uh, all, all industry and all universities, etc. So um, I, I want to talk a little bit about AI because that's what I work on. And, and AI, uh, the numbers are even far less than STEM. And, and it's even more important in AI because uh, we need to encounter bias. So you may have uh, heard about the infamous hiring tool that was biased against women because of lack of data representing women. Then um, some other examples like word embedding used in natural language processing where um, you know, trained on Google News article, it, it absolutely exhibits the, the gender, male, female gender stereotype. And if you say man, man is to computer program, it will say woman is to homemaker. So uh, as I said, that um, you know something that I'm passionate about, and I'm really happy that Intel um, has taken a, a extreme, a very nice goals. For example, in 20, we had a goal for 2020 to make sure that women and URM, underrepresented minority, are represented at all levels. And we were uh, fortunate that we were, we were able to meet that goal two years ahead of schedule. And there was a lot of effort that went into this, hiring, investing in schools, retention, pipeline. And going forward now for 2030, the goal is to have women in tech to reach 40%. So there is, a, as I, uh, you know, there's a lot of effort that's going on across the industry. But the first thing is to recognize that there, there is an issue. And then I can, unless you, you want me to talk about something else, I can talk about uh, how we can do that. If that's okay. No, that's exactly what I was going to ask you. Yeah, so how do we start fixing some of these issues and, and getting more uh, girls and women and more diversity into STEM? Yes, yes, absolutely. So number one is role modeling, you know, and, and you need to make it sound exciting. Um, not that, you know, women are not good at science, like in, in medicine, there are lots of women, but somehow uh, computer science, AI, that has been presented in society as not something that women, women are driving. So number two is how, how it's relevant in the world, like applications that AI, they can easily see, you know, Alexa, self-driving cars, social media, how does Netflix know which movie I want to watch? So showing that is, is something that, that, is, uh, that will attract, attract women and girls. And not just attracting them, also retention. Um, so AI for social good, in my experience, I have seen that women are very interested in that, changing, um, the, the working on things that will change the world, AI for social good. So um, the other thing in AI specifically is that it is a very interdisciplinary field. And you can, you can work, apply AI to your own domain, uh, whether it's computer science or business or economics, education, law, you know, neuroscience, whatever it is. All of this needs to be come together to create an innovate, innovative research for AI. And, and one example and, and I would, that's, Oh, go ahead. No, I was just going to say that yeah, I, no, I, I, I love to paint. And I was able to combine AI with, with painting and neural style transfer that you can do. And I was able to morph a, a computer chip with my own modest painting or my painting with Monet. And, and of course, I use the VGG19 trained model, but there are these tools out there. So my point is that AI can be used in so many different areas and you can combine what you are doing with with ai so if if we can show this to women and girls and not only 
that th this is something they can see their work very clearly versus computer science, a sci computer scientists are sitting and doing their work on the desk versus you can actually see how, the, what, how it's impacting. Um, and then combining whatever you are doing with AI is, is another way of showing that that, that can be done. Huma, for, for people out there, and in particular, you know, for, for maybe young women or girls who are wanting to do this, where would, we, where would you recommend I send them right now if they're like, hey, I want to find out more information right now about this? Where would we direct them to go? That's a wonderful question. So all companies, such as Intel, has an intel.ai.portal. That, that you can get a lot of information about AI and others. And I, I'll talk about AI and then I can talk about general as well. But for AI, there is so much open source and free information that's out there. And courses like Coursera by Andrew Young or Udacity, or you know, there's so many wonderful podcasts, uh, Lex Friedman, something that I, that I read or listen to all the time, or they're highly rated books. Um, a Peter Norvig's book, or Kai Fil Kai Fil Lee's book, or um, you know Yuval Harari. So there's podcasts, there are courses, MIT, Stanford. All of these ha are offering free courses to, to for people to do. Um, and and besides that, if you're really interested, you could actually go and take a degree in 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 AI or computer science or or plus there are you know this is like endless. I can have a list of places that they can go. Well, I mean, the bottom line is is this. I mean, clearly you have been in this uh, for a long time and you said that, you know, we want to make AI cool and, and, and make sure that everybody understands how, how great it is. And it is cool. It's very cool. You're very cool. Uh, thank you <laughs> very you much so for being here. Very kind <laughs> I, I appreciate it. I, and I and it's just, you know, it's exciting the work that you do there and, and thank you for sharing this information and hopefully somebody can, who's watching right now can go follow along with that and, and follow in your footsteps. And Huma, thank you very much for being here on Digital Trends Live with us. Thank you so much. I, it was really a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much.